What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today isn't a prank, a challenge or not even a fortnight video, today is a vlog and or story time whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to be telling you the truth about, in fact I'll say it in a different way. I'm going to tell you guys what happened to me yesterday, because I only found out yesterday that this happened. As you guys know, I've got a friend that came round to my house, that comes round to my house, I mean. And he was in the video where I ignored him for ages. The one of where I went outside in the dark exploring. But you guys wouldn't know this. I've got another friend, which is his brother. And it was his brother that annoyed me. And this will annoy you guys as well. I've not said this in a video yet about my other friend or not even what happened. But I've got a load of Pokemon cards in like a tub. Like, £50 worth. And guess what it did? And, by the way, I'm not on about the friend that was in me... Was in a few of my videos. I'm on about his brother. His brother, which was my best friend, literally stole all my Pokemon cards. And I'm not even joking. Right. Just look at this. Look at this. All of these Pokemon cards. As you can see, Pokemon. He stole all this off me without asking. So, yeah, this got me so, so angry. I literally wanted to... As you guys know, we're going on holiday soon. If I've told you before. I literally wanted him not to come on holiday with without cross I got. But, yeah, basically, I'll tell you guys what happened right now. So about two months ago, in let's say May, I noticed that my Pokemon cards were missing and I didn't know where they'd gone but, but I obviously wouldn't have blamed the person who stole them because they wouldn't do it is what I thought. But what I did realise was I was told by my other friend, uh, is the other friend that was in my videos were co is called Mason, and he literally told me that Tian had had my cards, which is his brother. So Tian had had my cards. He literally took all this fifty quid worth of Pokemon card cards off me. Without even asking, in fact, he did ask, and I said, no, I want to keep them all, please. And he was like, oh, okay. Then he just walked off. Next minute, I know, whilst I went downstairs to get a drink, he got the uh, tub of Pokemon cards, I was told this, and put them in his bag and took them back home. And the thing that annoyed me the most was he was meant to, be my friend. I fell out with him a little bit, but I still am his friend a bit. But just to think that a best friend would steal something off you, that is ridiculous. This got me so angry that I wanted to uh, cancel him off the holiday, as I told you earlier. But I wouldn't feel fair to do that. Instead, what happened? His mum, his mum literally grounded him the other day, yesterday, in fact, in for a week after she found out what happened. And the thing is, he muddled them up and hid them in a bag. And if Mason hadn't have gone down that night to tell Tian to bring my Pokemon cards back, he would have never ever brought them back. But like, literally, look at this. All, all these cards. I'll read them to you. I've got Rolette, 
Sizzlepeed. And the energy one, which is quite rare, I think. Uh, Swirlix. Swirlix. Crabe Marnable. Nicket. Oshawott. Sandy Gast. Main in Mind, I think. Diglett, or Diglett. Uh, Peace Eye Duck. Cybond. Clue Sci. Smoliv. Energy, again. Whiskash. Jimsu. Ralks. Or veils, another veils. This one, another energy one. Dreadnought. This one that's rare. Pseudo Wudo. Energy search. A dry floon. Magic up. Slow poke. Cup foo, spoopo, lapras, wig, wiglet, unidentified fossil, arcanai, suppet, fellow, with his last name, uh. This gold one, which was like £10, which I think, it was really rare. It's even on a 130 power level when he was on 70. Steeny, Tempinus I know, Dino Tree Hill, Old Cemetery, Grant, Diglett. Switch cart, sauna, tattoo, la praz, uh, this one, which bronzer, look at that, bronzer, yeah, and that's just a few, we've got loads left, Vulpix, Carilla, Mealworth, Excelagor, Artillery, Z Zigazoom, I think, Nest Ball, Gorbiz. Then, then another energy card, Pangaro, Poor Me, Shuffly, Daytrix, Tatsurig. Sugrai or whatever. Inkay. Mankay. Wugritu. Topi. Nogtow. Nogtow or Nogtow. I don't know how to describe it. Ponyta. Feeble. Pakirusu. Arcanine, Chatter, Squavert, Sprit Corb, Com Tomb, whatever, Manjimite, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Oshawott, Man's Cliff, Adaman, Victony, Galvuntula, Grievard, Staraptor, Spiral Energy, Beersarp, Agroon, and Pikachu. He took all of them off, mate. Look at all this. This is ridiculous. That's about £50 worth of Pokemon cards in... 
he took the tub. Yeah, that really annoyed me the most. He took the tub, which was my favourite part, and all the cards were my favourite part as well. Took them all, said, oh, yeah, they came up with this story. Oh, I accidentally left them in my pocket. That's loads of rubbish because I've seen my friend told me, my friend Mason told me that you picked them up, mate, and put them in your pocket and then put them in the bag, in your bag at home, got all the cards out and mix them up with yours. So that was a load of rubbish. So, yeah, that's, that's what got, got me really angry. I got so mad that day that I found out. I made them bring them all... I made him bring them all back. In fact, no, I wanted Mason to bring them back, actually, because Tina had annoyed me so much, I couldn't cope to even see him that day. And now he's grounded till the 11th of July in six days. Oh, my God, it got her. Oh, got me so, goodness, mad. God, I'm mad. I literally, my head gets... Really warm thinking about it. Cause when I get cross, my head gets warm, and when my head gets warm, it most likely means I've got a temperature if it's too warm. And then if I've got a temperature, I start to feel ill. And when I feel ill, I get really cross. And when I get cross, I start to moan about people doing certain stuff. And when I do that, it causes arguments. <sighs> and yeah, to think. Honestly, my friend, my best friend, is not my best friend anymore because it took all these off. Look, just look at all them. All them off me without my permission. And I wouldn't even budge to say yes. And he says to his mum, Oh, Evan said I can have them. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. But, yeah. After he gave him back, I made him give half of his to me as well to make up for it even more. And his rarest card, his rarest Pokemon card that I got, which is now mine, and keep half for him. And the thing that annoys me the most, he could have just bought, if he had some money, he could have just went to the game shop in Loughborough if he could get a taxi there or something. Got some cards from there, a tub like me, and now he's lost a tub that meant to me, me the most as well, and got some himself. Like, what on earth does that kid think he's doing? Oh, my God. It got me so cross. I literally said other stuff, except for not him not going on holiday. I said, and I'll be honest, I said I didn't want him round for the rest of this month after he'd done that. Just as a punishment, because you don't steal off your best friend. I'm giving him a life lesson here. If he ever steals f from me again, he either gives it back or don't ever... Well, not don't ever. Don't come here for the rest of the month if he does it again. And yeah, he can't come for six days anyway till he's grounded. So... Yeah. I think I've said it before, but I'll say it once more. If Tina is... If Tina was my best friend, to then lie about me saying yes when I said no, that he can't have his card, my cards, and to take them anyway without my permission... And try not to bring them back and pretend that they're his. And that it... I noticed he had loads more cards. And I was like, oh, there's loads of cards in my room. And I was like, oh, could he have took them to his house without me knowing? And yeah, and now they're all back. But the tub's gone, which means I'm going to have to get a new tub for my Pokemon cards. Great. So he took, first of all, he took, right, number one, he took £50 of cards away from me. Two, it was without my permission. Three, I didn't even say yes. Four, he lied to his mum that he didn't take them. 
five, he said it was his. And six, he would have never given back if it weren't for good old Mason. <sighs> I'm sorry for the long thing that showing how many cards I've got. But that was half of his as well. I'm going to tell him this life lesson once more. And I'm going to show him this video when he next comes. To not steal from a best friend. Stealing from a best friend isn't being a good friend. That's just pure out of order. It's... I don't know what he will say when he sees this video, but I think it's fake friendship. Like, using me... For his advantage, for him to be happy and think that he's going to end up in a good way when he's older. And this won't happen if you steal stuff. Think about it. If you had a best friend that you could trust and then, and then they stole £50 off you, £50 basically, of Pokemon cards, you wouldn't trust them anymore, would you? No. And the thing that annoyed me even more is, he said, oh, I accidentally left in my pocket. Which I would believe. But, it's funny that, because he never bought them back when he said he accidentally left them. He could have bought them back that day when went home when he said he accidentally left them in his pocket. No, that was all the way in May. And Mason bought them back this month in July. That is, that is ridiculous. And when, um, trust me, when he next comes, I'm going to make him say sorry for everything that happened that day. Honestly. And if you don't, well, I'll just send him home. Straight up. But, yeah. That is what really annoys me about him. At first, I thought I could trust him. But after that, uh, I'm not going to trust him much. And do you know if he ever goes near my cards again, I'm going to be up in that room he's in, make sure he do not touch them. And trust me, when I get a new, a new tub with all these in, I'm going to hide them away from him. Just to teach him a lesson, not to steal off his best friend. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, by the way, if your best friend ever does this to you, if you, if your best friend ever does this to you, make sure to tell someone about it to try and get it back and everything or the person who stole it probably should bring them back but yes guys that's just a life lesson don't steal it's not good it won't get you anywhere and yes guys if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like sub and do you know what uh, before i do the outro this is what gets me even more mad I am the only friend he has ever stole something off. That annoys me so much. But yes, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you're new to the channel. By the way, remember, once more, don't steal off anyone. And yes, guys, I will see you guys in the next video before i end the video just to let you know the next video is gonna be a prank on my mum and if you guys want to get involved in the pranks right i've got a task for you a few tasks for you guys before i end the video if you've seen this video remember to share it to someone Leave a like on the video, 
comment what prank you want me to do next. In fact, I'll count the steps. Step one, share this video with someone you love. Step two, leave a like on this video. Step three, watch the video to the end. Step four, leave a like. Step five, subscribe. And step six, turn on post notifications. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe. Remember not to steal off anyone. And yes, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.